Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to jump right into it. We will be talking about the failed or canceled or discontinued or defunct, whatever adjective you like to throw in, lines of shame moisture. Now, I won't say that this list is conclusive, but it's from what I pulled up based on products that I know existed and I can no longer find or things that it, you have to hop on like eBay or Mercari or something like that. Like I can't get it from like a regular Schmegler Degler retailer. You guys get it. You know what I'm saying? So I am curious and I did see some of these. I feel like they popped up available in other countries, but not in the US. Like I saw a lot available in Great Britain. So I'm like, what's up with that? So anyways, let's just go ahead and get right into it. I wanted to um, kind of go down the list and tell you A, if I've tried them before and what I thought of them. So first in line is the African Water Mint and Ginger. And if you don't remember this line, um, it came in like a bright green packaging and they also had a body care line. I think the body care or maybe just the scrub is still available, but oh, and I'm also keeping all of these things are about the hair care lines. None, none of it's about body, but um, yeah, like I said, the African Water Mint and Ginger and I actually did a review on this and I was fond of it. It reminded me of the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint um, soap, the Castile soap. That, that tingly feeling that it gave me, it was in a very, what? It was in a, what? No, no, it doesn't even agree. It was a, it was a very aggressive, minty, tingly feeling, and that's my vibe. That's what I liked, okay? Um, I don't know about ginger, I can't really remember the smell in ginger, but the mint was there, okay? The mint was there and it was tingling and I like that. And also if I have done a review on these lines and you're just curious, like I said, I'll link them below. Um, Maybe you have it or have access to it and are curious about it. So if I've done a review on them, I'll link them below. Check. One day my English will be better. One day, uh, check the description. Okay, so next is the Tahitian Noni and Minoy. And I don't think I did a review on this, but I feel like I remember mentioning, mentioning it. Um, and I couldn't, it's like I thought I could find it, but whenever I would click on links, I couldn't get access to them. So I don't know what's up with Tahitian Noni and Manoi, but that one came in a lighter, more, it wasn't pale. It was kind of like a lime, kind of like a lime green uh, color. And that had a full line as well. I remember it having a mask. It had the whole nine. And that one was, let me see if that one was called smooth and repair because the African water mint when the full line for that was called the African water mint and ginger detox and refresh and for the um Manoi that one was yeah Tahitian Noni and Manoi smooth and repair that whole line was smoothing and repairing it had a glosser it had the mask um apparently a weekly scalp therapy who knew I didn't uh a rinse out conditioner I don't know why they name it rinse out instead of just conditioner. Like what's the whatever. Um, so yeah, there's that. Next is where my notes go. Where did my notes go? Okay, next I also did a review on this one. It was the head in the clouds one, and that came in the light blue packaging and that one consisted of i think it was only three items it was the head in the cloud shampoo the conditioner and a light mask and that line i hated in every way conceivable but also i don't think i was its target demographic to be fair i think it was people who had like fine straighter hair that was looking for like they're like i want zero weight on my hair like zero like less than like no weight at all um but i don't know i feel like it did nothing again it could just be my hair type but me personally me personally me personally no was it for me um did not like it no wasn't a fan of that line but the packaging made me happy it looked uh peaceful and it was the coconut and cactus water so that that sounds light and air like in it at coconut and cactus water I'm getting light airy vibes. So um, yeah, that's gone. And I wonder why, like, I really do wonder why. Like, was it because everyone felt the way that I did about it or because 
It wasn't marketed. Shea Moisture has a problem with their marketing when they launch new line. Shea Moisture marketing. Guys, just come talk to me, okay? Because I feel like I put a, I got a lot of skin in the game when it comes to Shea Moisture. So if you guys want to come chat with me, just, just DM me. I'd love to, to, you know, I love to collab because, because sometimes the marketing, like, why am I surprised when I go into the store and find out something's new and I follow you on social media? Like that shouldn't be the case. Like what? Um, so yeah, that is that win. Uh, next was the Sacha Inchi. I did a, was it just the mask or was it the stylers? I think I did a review on the mask and the styler of this one. And I think I was pretty fond of it. I don't, I don't remember it being great, but I don't remember it being bad. Like, I feel like I liked it, like seven, eight out of 10 ish. It wasn't one of their greats as far as like the mask is concerned, but it was cute and I liked the smell of it. It had a very light, pleasant smell. I remember that one. Like, going through this in my mind, like racking through my brain is making me nostalgic because it's taking me back to like each Shea Moisture mask. I feel like it has a very specific smell. So it's taking me back to a very specific time, like in the beginning of me filming my YouTube videos. And it's just making me nostalgic. Next. Oh, this line right here, this line right here. Oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you the full name of the Sacha Inchi. Danielle, you're getting ahead of yourself. I'm sorry. It was the Omega 369 Rescue. Okay, that was the name of it, the Sacha Inchi Oil, Omega 369 Rescue. Next is the Dragon's Blood and Coffee Cherry. This line right here, this one also was another one that had body care as well as hair care. And I did a review on the hair care. And first of all, I when I tell you that is the best smelling product that I've ever put in my hair, I mean, 10 out of 10, the smell, the smell was everything. I love the way the product worked as far as the shampoo and conditioner. The conditioner was, um, or the line was kind of supposed to be like for volumizing and it, it gave me some volume. So if you still have your hands on that and you want a volumizing shampoo and conditioner, it works. However, I do remember they had like a volumizing spray and why did they put isopropyl alcohol in it? Cause I remember I was spraying the spray and I was like, I smell rubbing alcohol. What is this? What is this? It's cause it was rubbing alcohol. So yeah, let me know if you guys have tried any of these lines, if you remember them and if you actually like them, because some of these, like when they, I remember when they discontinued um, the Dragon's Blood and Coffee Cherry, I was devastated. Cause I was like, why would you like, yeah, maybe nix that that root lifting spray with the isopropyl alcohol, but to get rid of the, the shampoo and the conditioner, like, what do you say? Oh my God. And I know I said, I was just going to talk about the hair products, but y'all, the body spray. That smells so freaking good. Oh, it smells so good. Love that. Okay, anyways, next is the Kakui Nut and Grapeseed Oils Damage Rehab. They have the shampoo, the conditioner, and the mask. And I did a review on all three. I think the shampoo and the conditioner were together, and then I did the mask separately. And I don't remember being impressed by her. She was purple. Uh, she had a corresponding facial care line, or skincare line, I should say. And that's all I remember about her. She didn't, no, she wasn't memorable to me. Sorry, girl. Sorry. I mean, I remember using it, but nah. Nah. Um, next was the almond milk and argan oil. And if you remember this one, this was one I felt like I could kind of find online if I like, I don't know, like went in the bathroom, turned off the light, said Beetlejuice three times. Um, had a chat with the Lord of the Light, uh, was able to say my ABCs backwards in Cantonese and do like a shoulder shimmy or the Harlem Shake or something like that. Like after those requirements were met, I felt like I could find this line online. <laughs> I, I sometimes, why, why do I make my own jokes then laugh at them? Like that wasn't, I don't like that joke. 
I'm going to continue to be that way though. Anyways, this line, it initially came out, it was orange and then they changed the packaging to blue, but it was the smooth and tame one. Um, and it had the conditioner, the shampoo. I remember the thermal protect milk and I did a review on the, this full line, like all in one video. And I remember the blowout cream and I thought the blowout cream did a decent job, but it was too weighted for me to like, I, I wouldn't be able to silk press my hair after using that. So that was a, that was a no for me, dog. Okay, next was the Peace Rose Oil Complex Shampoo Conditioner, and they also had a mask. And I don't rem I don't think I did the shampoo and the conditioner, but I did review the mask. And um, that one I actually did like, and it smelled just like all the other items from the Peace Rose, because I actually did do the, um, oh, they had dry shampoo, and I did a comparison on the dry shampoo as well. I remember that. Um, but she was cute. It was called Nourish and Silken. Um, I don't know if she silked me out like that. I, I, don't, I don't feel silky. But then again, I feel like I don't think that Shea Moisture is known for their heat styling products. And that doesn't mean they don't have any good ones, but I don't feel like that's their wheelhouse on what they're known as. Again, could be a marketing thing. Could be. I don't know. Um, yeah, and lastly, oh no, this isn't lastly, I lied, but this, you guys, this is the first Shea Moisture video I ever reviewed on my channel. I'm sad now. I miss it. I think this was the first one. I don't know if you remember. Tell me if this was the first one or not. I'm pretty sure it was, but it was the bamboo extract and maca root, and I remember they only sold this line in Bed Bath & Beyond, or if you're up north, north, if you're up north. Up north, if up north, if you up north, I think it's called Harmons. Um, but yeah, the bamboo extract and maca root, and this was the resilient growth line. And I remember using um, reviewing this full line, and I I'm just so nostalgic about this. I'm like, it wasn't like super duper amazing. It was a decent line, and also I feel like the more I tried to moisture stuff, the more I realized like. In comparison to the other ones, it wasn't that good. Like, I'm actually not surprised that this one um, isn't, like, really available anymore. But this one holds a special place in my heart. I remember searching high and low for this one. Like, I remember going to the stores and looking. Hmm, makes me happy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cassie. See, that's, like, a chronically online take chronically on TikTok. Why did I just randomly shout that out? Okay, and lastly, this was one of the first Shea Moisture brands that I actually ever tried, brands, lines that I ever tried. And this is the Yucca and Plantain. And I I feel like they changed this one. It used to be like, I think they changed it to Yucca and something else. Did they change it to Yucca and something else? Or am I confusing another line? I feel like this was one of the ones where they switched up on the formulation. I really like this one. I really did like this one. And this was the um, anti-breakage and strengthening line. Um, and they had the shampoo, the conditioner, the mask, and the uh, shine mist. And I remember really liking the mask. There was another one that I'm missing. But anyways, I remember really liking the mask on this one. That I am extremely surprised that that one was either canceled or not widely available or you know, can't be found without like going to page two of Google. I'm not going to page two. If it's not on page one, it doesn't exist, babe. Babes, if you're not on page one, it's not on page one. If it's not on page, if it's not on page one, turn to page one, turn to page 394. <laughs> you guys know where that's from? I hope you know. I hope you know so we can all be friends. Comment if you know where that, that line I just said is from. Um, yeah, so I can find it on page one. It wasn't meant to be found. So anyways, yeah, I just wanted to take a little stroll down memory lane, see if this was just a US thing or if I can't find it on my version of Beyonce's internet. And if you can find it, what country are you in? If you're in the US, I'm gonna wonder what is wrong with my Beyonce's internet where I couldn't find it and why you can but yeah if you try these lines and you're surprised that they're either canceled or unavailable or you're not surprised sound off in the comments below because i just she moisture was that girl for like the longest time and then they just weren't and i'm i don't know it's like i wonder if it was they oversaturated their own market by releasing too many lines but i feel like a lot of 
natural hair care lines do. Like I know Myel releases a lot. I know Main Choice releases a lot. Well, they used to. I've been out of, let me tell you something. I've been out of the natural hair game so long. I told you I've been using the same products for like two years now um, that I don't know what's getting released. So please sign off in the comments below. Genuinely, I'm interested. What do you guys think about this? A and B, are, like, are, are these products, I don't know, like, what do you think about it? Is it surprising to you? What what's what what are your thoughts? Sometimes I'll be about to um like cut the video, so I have to like wrap myself up and then I'll start talking. So I think at this point I'm just going to like start cutting myself off mid 